Hey everybody, just standing here feeding my native tank. I've been feeding the fish on the bottom and I felt like someone was staring at me. And so I looked over and I got that crayfish up and out of the water completely. And I got this crayfish over here. So I'm not really sure what they're doing up and out of the water like that. They normally don't just sit at the surface, they either forage around or they stay in the water, one or the other. The fact that they're just hanging out above the surface of the water seems kind of unusual. Yeah, he's definitely alive and well, he's just hanging out. Let's see what this one does if I touch him. It's interesting, it's almost like they're sleeping. First I thought maybe they might be soft shell and trying to get out of the water for safety and possibly even letting the oxygen harden their shells up. But this is definitely not a soft shell. That's plenty normal hard shell, so I don't know what to make of that. So, all right, I'm going to get back to it. I just thought that would be an interesting little video to shoot. I always try to get anything I find to be interesting on video in case anybody else finds it to be interesting. And these crayfish are always interesting to watch. You can see the one back there is the one we just knocked into the water from before. I wonder if they're going to go right back up and go right back out the top. trying not to glare too much on the tank here. I normally try to wear dark clothing when I'm shooting video, but this is kind of spur of the moment video, and I was not wearing a dark shirt at the moment, so I apologize for all that glare. But there you go. There's some crayfish climbing up and out of the water. I've said before, and I'm sure I will say again, that crayfish are climbers. If you've got crayfish in a tank, you can either expect them to get out, or you can build your tank in such a way that they can't get out. So hopefully, uh, for those of you not familiar with this tank, in order for these crayfish to actually get out, they would not only have to climb up here, then they'd have to crawl all across, and this would be the closest way they would be able to get out. And in fact, this branch is not even supposed to be touching that, and so if they want to get out, they actually have to crawl this way, this way, and then out, or up and over, and out this way onto that corner, and it should reduce the likelihood that they'd ever get out of there, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. And there is three of them right there. I put five in originally. And we definitely still have three. You can see the one down here in the corner and then the two right there. And this one looks like it's going to go right back up and out of the top of the water. Let's see if it climbs all the way out again. Now I've seen them hanging out right there. And that is a place where they can chill out, but they're still fully underwater, and they're fully submerged right there. But he actually did kind of come halfway up and out of the water. He is still exposed above the water right there. I wonder why they do that. I know they'll come out of the water when they forage at night, and I've been walking along the stream, and I've heard them skitter back into the water. So I know they will come out of the water to forage, but I've never seen them come out of the water just to hang out and sit at the surface like that. That's interesting. Not really sure why they do that. Anyway, there you go. I'll leave you with a close-up look at him. 
And I say him because anybody with a mustache like that's got to be a him. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you real soon in the next one.